Hello, Ingress Agent 57 Cell here. Welcome back to the channel. And this video is about Niantic's latest event for Ingress players, the Shared Memories Link Operation. Let me explain how this works. First of all, though, please just ignore, ignore the mess in that corner. That's supposed to be where I keep my YouTube subscriber cardboard play button, but it's, um, there's technical difficulties right now. Anyway, how does this operation work? What are the rules? First of all, the badges are round instead of hexagons. This is the first time perhaps Niantic has given us any badge at all which is not a hexagon. So, round badges it is. The way it works is this. You create a link, you get three event points. You destroy a link, you get one event point. You can't destroy links of your own faction and get points. So it has to be either Machina links or the, the opposite faction to yours. Now to hit the targets to get the top level badge, you need 10,000 points. That's 3,333 links. That's a lot more than most, than many players actually have in their entire time playing the game. But there's a second way to get points, and that is bonus points from link stars. Link stars are patterns where lots and lots of links are coming out of a single portal. They're sometimes called starbursts or supernovas and so forth. Whether it's just one faction or both factions linking, they can be really, really beautiful. For this global operation, as soon as you reach link 400, every single link that's made gives some bonus shared memory points. At first, 20 bonus points per link. And then as the starburst gets bigger and bigger, the number of bonus points per link grows 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 80 bonus points per link. What's really interesting about this is who gets those bonus points? When a link is made that generates bonus points, those points will go to some random agent who made one of the links that's already on the link star. Have a look at this example. There's five agents. They're all going to throw the same number of links, but some of them are really fast and some of them are really slow. So what happens to the number of bonus points? The fast agent gets all their links in right at the beginning. When the link star crosses that 400 threshold, they are getting most of the bonus points. The second fastest agent is not far behind and they also get their silver level bad, but the slowest agent just barely manages to cross the bronze line because their links were all so late to the game. And this isn't a matter of slow and steady wins the race. After 1,100 links, there's no more bonus points and all they get is the three points for the individual links they make. Here's another example to really make this clear. Here the link star is made by just two agents. The first one comes and makes 400 links. They don't get any bonus points for that. Then the second agent comes and adds another 800 links for a total of 1,200 links. You can see the first agent is just raking in the bonus points at the start. The second agent's bonus points only slowly start to take off and they only catch up to the first agent when they've made 50% more links than them. The two agents' final totals are almost the same. So what does this mean in practice? If you're involved in a link star, turn up on time. You don't want to start linking late because it will really cost you. Also, if you're planning it, make sure you have a plan for the people who are clearing blockers. Make sure they get extra keys so they can make the extra links they need to catch up. How big a star should you plan and how many agents should you involve? This depends on what badges you want to get. A link star with 1,200 links is quite an accomplishment, but it only provides enough points to not quite get four agents their silver badges. They're going to have to go on their own link spree. However, if you're satisfied with bronze badges, then eight agents can do that with just an 800 link star. 
the variation in their final score is almost totally due to just randomness in who got the links in first. So this is a difficult badge to get. You'll either need to slog really hard to get the top tier badge or be involved in a link star or both. If you're planning a link star, you may want to consider a cross-faction link star. This has got some advantages and some disadvantages. First of all, it's much easier to farm keys because you can farm two portals in the time it takes to farm one and get twice as many keys. Secondly, with the opposition involved, it's much easier to clear blockers made by your faction. Although you have to give some thought to how the blocker clearers can get back to their linking side to make some links of their own. Perhaps they could be given first dibs on destroying the link stars at the end of the operation. An obvious disadvantage is half of the portals you might have used are now used by the other faction. So the whole plan and play area has to be twice as big. You will have to be the judge of how these balance out, but don't forget the biggest advantage of all is how good this is for cross-fact relations. If you put together a beautiful cross-faction link star for this event, especially if you get some amazing photos and videos, please get in touch with me no promises, but maybe we can make a video of it together. And rural agents... I really sympathise. Once again, Niantic has made an event that doesn't really work unless you're in a city. This is Ingress Agent 57 Cell signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe and share this video. Thank you.